Welcome back. Today we're talking about the Six Degrees of Freedom. The Six Degrees of Freedom is a model used in the Circular Strength Training System to help classify movements. It stems from the work of neurophysiologist Nikolai Bernstein. Now, why do you care? Well, let me show you why, first of all, training with Six Degrees of Freedom can make your training more fun. With your typical bodybuilding style workout, you're working on very simple, typically single joint and a few compound joint movements. What do I mean? This stuff, this stuff, this stuff, this stuff. Sweet. Okay, the functional training model expands upon this by recognizing that life happens in three dimensions. Check out my figure. Why did I choose to draw a three-dimensional model with a two-dimensional uh, stick figure? Because you don't want to see me draw a person in 3D. Uh, okay, so we've got these three planes of movement that happen in life. Sagittal, frontal, transverse. Sagittal is, again, stuff like this. Frontal and transverse. Okay? Circular strength training takes that a step further and expands upon it even more by including the six degrees of freedom. So the six degrees of freedom shows that there are three axes and there is a degree of translation and a degree of rotation for each of those axes. So here we see heaving, which is vertical movement along this axis, surging forward and back, swaying side to side. Then you have pitch, which is forward, rolling around this axis, yaw, rolling around this one, and roll, which is rolling around this one here. Let me give you a better idea with this ball. Again, we've got heaving, surging, swaying, pitch, yaw, and roll. Why else does this matter? Well, it's because, like we said before, life happens in three dimensions and in six degrees of freedom. It's not just life, it's also your athletics and for those of you in the military, uh, combat as well. Everything happens in six degrees and the degree that you can't effectively deal with force will present a problem. What do I mean by deal with force? Well, I mean be able to absorb incoming force or prevent movement or generate force in a given direction. And if you've got a problem with any of these six degrees of freedom, where do you think your injury is going to happen? So you can almost use this as a diagnostic tool by looking at your programming and seeing where you're deficient in your training as it relates to this model of six degrees of freedom. I'm going to show you here in a second a few practical examples of exercises using this model.
Uh, as always, if you've got any questions, go ahead and leave them down below or head over to the Stillness Gym's Facebook page and leave us a comment on the wall. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you later.